A couple of years ago I installed some LED strip lighting underneath our kitchen sink area and I built this control module and you turn it on and you can then dim the lighting as you can see right here we're actually on the front side of the sink. Well the time has come to upgrade that and if you want to see how I did the original project I would encourage you to go to my website and I'll provide a link for that here. And here's a new dimmer. It's going to replace the old one. And it actually has a few advantages. The first advantage is that this is identical to the dimmers that I've been using for the overhead lights. So, you know, there's more commonality. And also, it does have an auto off function. So that depending on how you set this switch, you can have one, two, or four hours of on time. So, in other words, when you turn the dimmer on, one, two, or four hours after, it'll turn off. And actually, I have it set for one hour right now. And also, we have a uh, remote control receiver. And if you've watched some of my videos, you know I'm adding a lot of that to this RV. But you don't have to add the remote control. That's kind of an optional thing. And I designed this thing to kind of be a standalone unit. So I kind of incorporated my initial dimmer design plus the controls all into one little unit. So I could envision, you know, if you wanted to put something like this in a room, you just put it on a wall and you can control the room itself. So all we have to do is remove this panel and we should be able to hook the new one directly to it. So in removing the four screws, this dimmer just pops out. We have a 12 volt plus or minus LED plus or minus and that just wires directly to the new dimmer. So now we have the new switch wired in and I have this nice little Perspex cover that goes on. That protects everything and it will just shove everything back in here. And I made the new one the same as the old one so I didn't have to do any cutting or any modification. And while this does look fairly familiar to the old one, there are a few important differences. First thing is the on-off switch is on the dimmer itself. So when you turn the on-off switch on, you'll see a little LED on, which tells you that the dimmer is active. So, you know, for boondocking and things, if you see that LED on, you know, if you turn it off, we're not having any residual standby current here. So we'll turn that on. Here is the auto off on. We want to flip it up if we want a one hour delay for the turn off. And then the mode switch, there's actually three different pushes. The first push turns the LED strip on. The second push puts it in the dimming mode and then you can adjust it here. The third push turns it off again. And then if you wired the receiver in, Push the receiver one time, it turns it on, push it again, dims it. The third time it turns it off. And these are interchangeable, so if you turn it on with this, you can dim it with that, you can turn it off with that, you can turn it on with that, dim it with that, turn it off. So there you go. That's just a real quick update to my Undersink project. Again, if you go to my website, I have another video that will explain how to build these. If you want to build it for either the sink project or for any other use you have around your RV.